Everybody has issues with their internet. Hey, is, is your guy's internet working? No, nobody's is. Whether it's an unnecessary bundle, data limits, or speed. It's not working, Gerald. But it has to work. Maybe if I put Your it internet's in. not working, Gerald. Face it. What's happening? But this guy actually did something about it. My wife came home with the bill, and I said, there's got to be a better way. He built his own internet service company from his garage. This is where all the magic happened. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this, <laughs> this is Brant, and this is his garage. It's the DIY hub of internet connectivity in Dillon Beach, California. The way I engineered the service is kind of like an irrigation system. The green lines actually represent sort of a big fat virtual pipe that brings strong internet service to the different areas of the community. Just basically liberating information to the people. But Brandt wasn't always a DIY internet guru. In fact, before building his own ISP, he swore off technology altogether. We came out here six and a half years ago. I was finding what I needed kind of out on the water uh, and outdoor activities. In hindsight, I think I can look back at it and I call it my Luddite phase. Let's roll. Come on, let's get on board. <laughs> but I didn't really know where it was taking me at the time. All the while, I think my family was suffering a little bit. They felt pretty isolated out here. He loved that it was away from everything which was exactly what was the most challenging for me and Emma. I think it was a good couple months that we had no internet, and I felt a little resentful. We're kind of stuck out here in this isolated place. It became apparent that Emma would need internet for school. The burden that my daughter felt for school was, was heavy. She was bouncing back and forth between staying late at school, going to the public library, maybe going to Starbucks when the library closed and she still wasn't done with her homework. But it was very slow. Public Wi-Fi is just terrible. The cell phone service was really our only option, but that proved to be extremely expensive. My wife came home with the bill, $707. That was the last straw. There's got to be a better way to do this. He's not one to just sit back, just say, there's nothing we can do. He will find a, a solution. I knew that there was a cell phone tower in our close proximity. I thought maybe that would be a good direction to start investigating. So Brandt began searching for the cell tower. After chasing down utility trucks, he eventually found it. And the company that owned the fiber line attached to it but he had a problem. No one would return his calls. It was like silence for six months, and then one day I got this call out of the blue saying, now what is it you're trying to do out there? I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We get to talk to somebody. I just want the internet. I don't want to play these games or whatever. Just open the pipe up and let me have access. After months of negotiations, Brandt eventually got a fiber line installed directly into his garage. That really solved my internet problem. <laughs> Some of my closer neighbors asked if they could buy in. I was just being bombarded with people just saying, hey, sign me up, sign me up, sign me up. And I didn't even know if I could do it. Hey, Terry, how are you? Good. You remember Look, Claire? I do. Oh, my goodness. And I was actually really skeptical about it. I was imagining that the service would be bad, the speed would be slow, and we'd have problems. So have you been able to get out on the water lately? He's got this great energy about him. Not at all afraid of us pestering him about our service. My partner and I can actually both work from home at the same time, which would never happen with the other service. To have that choice of something other than the bigger companies that were providing terrible service has been huge. Uh, right here actually is the fiber coming into my garage, my interface to the fiber connection. This head end unit really is the brains for disseminating all the information which go to the antennas up on my roof that actually get the signal out there. That's how we do it. I feel like there are no limitations now. Now that we have internet and it's fast and it's good, Emma was ecstatic. 
She just finished her freshman year at Berkeley. I think she saw it as, as him doing this for her. It just, it made her happy. So the spirit of DIY, in my mind, is anybody wants to just take the bull by the horns and get it done themselves. There's no restrictions. I mean, you just go. And especially out here, it's like the Wild West. It's kind of nice. So what's next for you? What's next for me? Uh, I think I want to learn a little bit about editing DNA.